Talking Book Production at the American Printing House for the Blind. Enjoying a good book is a genuine pleasure, whether reading for enjoyment or studying technical material at work. Although the invention of the Braille alphabet in the 19th century opened the world of print for blind readers, not all people who are blind or visually impaired use it to read. Many also rely on recorded works, or as they were called from their development in the 1930s, talking books. In February 1936, the American Printing House for the Blind, APH, installed a model sound recording studio and began acquiring equipment for audio processing and record pressing. In 1937, APH became the only institution for the blind in the world equipped to manufacture talking book records from wax recordings to the finished pressings. Beginning with our first 12-inch, 33 and a third RPM recording of Gulliver's Travels to our current annual production of hundreds of talking books, APH has been one of the nation's foremost producers of talking books for people with disabilities. All of our talking books are produced for the National Library Service. Bids are requested annually, and APH competitively bids against other recording studios. APH's own projects currently include Reader's Digest, which we began recording in 1939, and Newsweek Magazine, recorded weekly since 1959. These recorded magazines are distributed without cost to blind people nationwide. Generous APH donors make these programs possible. The process of producing a talking book begins with a print book selected by the National Library Service. The books are sent to the APH studio director along with instructions and production deadlines. Book assignments are generally based on the special skills of the narrator and the type of book. For example, some narrators are more skilled at reading technical material. A female narrator would be selected to record a woman's autobiography. APH narrators must pass rigid auditions to qualify for narrating talking books for the National Library Service. The narrators at APH are well-known and well-loved by their listeners, and several have won national awards for their work. The monitor is the director of the recording process. While the narrator reads, the monitor ensures that the narration matches the print copy, that all words are pronounced correctly, and that the recording is technically sound. Recording sessions are two hours long. Some narrators read for two sessions a day, and some read only a few sessions a week. It takes about 15 hours in the studio to record a 12-hour long talking book, an average-sized 300-page bestseller. Most mistakes are corrected as soon as they are made during the recording session. However, after they have been recorded, all talking books are reviewed and compared to the text by a proofreader. The proofreader marks mistakes and sends the recording back to the studio for correction. The final version is sent to the National Library Service for approval. APH's approval rate is always high consistently exceeding the rate that is set out in our contract with NLS. Talking books are distributed to library patrons in two different ways. The book is uploaded to NLS's BARD database, where the patrons can instantly download any talking book. NLS also accommodates the needs of users who are either less tech-savvy or do not have physical access to the Internet. For every book recorded, several hundred NLS flash cartridges are produced in APH's duplication department. Flash cartridges are labeled in both print and braille. They are duplicated by machines that instantly insert cartridges into a USB port where a computer transfers a copy of the digital audio file. The flash cards are taken to the book packager which is a machine that opens the plastic mailing containers so an operator can place a cartridge in each container. The packager then closes the container and applies the required NLS packaging labels. At the conveyor belt at the end of the machine, 
operators insert pre-printed mailing cards into slots on the outsides of the containers. The conveyor drops the container straight into a mailing bin that is sent to the post office and mailed to talking book libraries around the country. Each year, talented narrators and skilled production workers produce about 500,000 flash cartridges at the American Printing House for the Blind. These audiobooks and periodicals provided by the National Library Service, private contracts and gifts to APH offer people who are unable to read print an extensive library, ranging from the classics to current news and the latest novels.